So thank you again, everybody, for joining this Canada Specialist Program webinar. Josephine from VRL, please take it away. Thank you. I've just started my timer to make sure that I stay on time also. So I am from VRL. Now, Sean is actually your rep in Australia. You, you will speak with the most. Um, however, because he was doing Yukon, I said I would gladly join you guys today and tell you about Via Rail, as I'm always excited to talk about our railroad system. So I was very lucky last week, and I actually went back on the train myself uh, to do the trip from Vancouver to Jasper. My good friend Ali traveled with me, and I'm very happy to say that a lot of our services have returned to normal on board the trains with regards to full meals in the dining car, access to the lounge areas. When you're in a public space at this time, you still have to wear a mask. But the other great news to share is that as of uh, last week, now with Via Rail, anybody who works with us on board the train or in the station, and anybody who travels with us must be double vaccinated. So uh, that helps provide comfort to your clients who are going to book with us to travel maybe this year yet, but definitely in 2022 and moving forward, okay? So Via Rail is Canada's national railroad system. We go right across the country on a year round basis. And uh, what type of train you will travel on will depend on what service you're traveling on. The Canadian is probably our best known train and the one that a lot of uh, the Australians like to travel with us on. It is considered a cruise on rails experience. And as you can see here behind the train is the great view of Mount Robson, which is one of the highlights on this train trip. We do always travel through the mountains during daylight hours. So you will see this either in a summer trip or a winter trip. The Canadian is a four day, four night journey if you do it the whole trip with us. Some people just do a portion though, Vancouver to Jasper slash Edmonton, of course, is always a popular choice. And you can also travel with us, but stop over. So some people will hop on at Vancouver, travel to Winnipeg, get off the train there, spend two or three days in this great community or longer if you wanna travel north up to Churchill with us then come back to the train at uh, Winnipeg and then carry on to Toronto. And that's allowed with a ticket also. You are allowed one complimentary stopover. And basically uh, our trains can take you to just about every part of Canada. However, not the Yukon and not the Northwest Territories. One of the reasons to take the train is of course to see the great views of Canada, the various different landscapes that we have. And while you're enjoying all that great scenery, of course, you're just relaxing. Nobody has to drive. Nobody has to worry about road signs or road maps. So it allows everybody in your party to enjoy. This is one of our summer trains. So as you can see, it's very long. It's up to 28 carriages long. In wintertime, we're smaller, usually about 12, 14. Um, currently, we are about 16 carriages. We are operating at this time just one day a week, so we're a little bit smaller train. But in 2022, we will return to our normal services, which is two trains a week from Vancouver to Toronto and an additional train in summertime between Vancouver and Jasper and Edmonton. While you're on the train, you're going to have a chance to visit with everybody. Fall is a great time to travel with us. You can see the uh, change of colors here. And you will meet Canadians on our train service as they do travel with us. So it allows you a chance to chat with them. Winter is one of my favorite times to travel on the train. I mean, look at that scenery. It's just white magic everywhere. And even better if you can be with us for a little bit of a snowstorm because then it's all blizzardy outside and you're all nice and warm inside and enjoying a drink in the pub, eh? You do have the chance to see animals when you're with us. Uh, in the wintertime, it's mostly elk and deer, a lot of birds still. In summertime, there is a chance to see those bears, both black and grizzly bears. Again, a lot of birds and then the deer, the elk, um, uh, moose, uh, also wolves, coyotes are animals that you can see along. Now, when you're traveling with us in Sleeper Plus, it means that all of your meals are included in the dining car. You have access to all of the social areas, the activities, and you have some type of bedroom to sleep in or a bed to sleep in at night. And I'm just gonna go over this very quickly because again, Sean is there if you have any further questions or you need any further training. 
But basically with Sleeper Plus, our least expensive category to travel with us, but enjoy everything is what we call the berth. Uh, a section is when you book the upper and the lower berth as a couple most often will do. Then you move up to private cabin for one, intended just for one person. And luckily there is no single supplement surcharge. So it's a good price point for a single person. And then our ever popular cabin for two. So for two people that know each other, private compartment with a toilet, a wash basin, chairs during the daytime, and then an upper and a lower bed. Our prestige service is our luxury service. So much bigger cabin, the bed is a double bed, and there is a wash, uh, sorry, a toilet uh, shower and a wash basin in the unit. Whereas with the other cabins, the shower is at the end of the hall. Of course, we have great staff on board to help us. Dining car is where you have all your wonderful meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And these are prepared by the chefs on board. So it's excellent food. We have our public areas. This is the lounge area at the back car. Great place to sit and chat with those Canadians or meet new friends uh, from other international destinations. Skyline car, another area where you can go and sit and always present the glass dome area. So lots of space. These have no reservations. You just go up whenever you like and they are open at nighttime also. Skyline car is where we do our activities. So this is a great area to hang out. And um, we also feature a Canadian musician on board program. So I did tell you about Aurora. So I have to show you this photo. So this was taken from the Via Rail train. I've been lucky enough to see Aurora while I was traveling. Uh, the routes that you can see Aurora are, of course, on the Canadian when you're going into Jasper and Edmonton, the Canadian around Winnipeg area, of course, our Churchill route further north and across northern Ontario. So we don't promise it on every train, but it is possible. And since this is a little bit of a feature about Aurora, I did want to tell you about a little itinerary idea that I call Yukon via Jasper. So basically it is taking the train from Vancouver to Jasper overnight on the Canadian, uh, spend a couple of days in this great location, go to the planetarium show and learn more about the Aurora. Then you travel to Edmonton with Sundog, hop on the plane to go up to Yukon, have a wonderful time there as Sean has pointed out, then fly with Air North to Yellowknife, have a wonderful time there as Lizzie is going to tell you about. And then you can take Air North to Ottawa, where you can once again join a Via Rail train. And for anyone who really wants a nice long journey, you can travel with us from Toronto all the way back to Vancouver on the Canadian. So a great little itinerary idea for you there. Now quickly, uh, other parts of our service, the corridor. This is many trains a day, very quickly from city center to city center and a very easy way, economical and environmental way to travel with us. Business class service is the best, hot meal is included, comfortable seats, pre-boarding, but economy service is also very good, very comfortable, and again, we'll get you from city centre to city centre. Our ocean train, which travels from Montreal to Moncton to Halifax, is our last end route if the client were to go right across the country, and this is a one-day, one-night one journey. Again, incredible scenery. You will follow the St. Lawrence Seaway to start off with. Then many of the rivers along in the inside. Uh, this is the Miramichi River that you will follow. Always passing through those wonderful Acadiana towns with the white church towers, very neat, uh, very social area. So lots of people will come down to the train and wave as your clients as they go by on the track. Fall is a wonderful time to come to this area because of the red maple leaves uh, changing in the trees. Very dramatic, as you can see here. And this is an overnight service. So you do have your cabin on board, all your meals again in the dining car. And we have the lounge areas for you to visit, meet people, enjoy a drink, and just relax. And that's it for me. Thank you. We welcome you back on board.